attack this three inch in diameter dead log here, dead tree. With this is the uh, cold steel trail hawk. Let's call it the executioner's hawk. Nice and black handled. All ground down, the paint's gone as you can see. Looks a little medieval to me. All right, let's take this thing down. Can't quite attack it from the other side without hitting this live tree. So I have to do a little, a little bit of an awkward angle. Yeah, it looks... There it goes. There we go. What I'm going to need to do is create a little platform for it, I think. So right, yeah, right now it's just zoomed in.
aim's not that great, huh? Yeah, it's difficult to nail it in the right spot every time. And do you take about two one way and two the other? Or? You know, it's totally your preference. Whatever you feel spends the least amount of energy and getting the most amount of work done. Yeah, I'm not... Kind of at a little bit of an angle. Mm -hmm, definitely, definitely at an angle. Kind of coming in a little bit too sharp. And then of course when you get deep enough, there you go, you're through it. I'll try some of the same technique for splitting uh, that I did with my cold steel special forces shovel uh, with this uh, tomahawk, this trail hawk. wedged in and just put it through. Yep. Now we're getting to a hard stage here. What I'm gonna do instead bring it down this way. That works well. Nice. Nice. Looking better and better. Mm -hmm. What do you think, man? I like it. Yeah, for the purpose of creating kindling, I think that's pretty good too. Maybe not quite the fine tinder that I need, but you know, create some nice kindling with that for sure. All right, first outing of many, Cold Steel Trailhawk. I like it. 